Hello, 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 Earthly Virgos. Happy Monday to you all. I hope all is well with you all. Thank you so much for your continued support and helping my channel grow. It's real small, but I appreciate you all so very much for your support. Don't forget you all to like, subscribe, and share so we can pick up more fellow-minded Virgos, okay? I met a Virgo today. Uh, she came in and her son um, I was applying for an apartment and we were all of a sudden talking and she said he was a Capricorn. I said, I said so what's your sign? She said, Cap. She said, uh, Virgo. I'm like, okay. I asked what her birthday was. She said, uh, 831. I said, I'm 829. And we got to talking. Come to find out, you all, she's already subscribed to the channel. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? All right. Let's roll, Virgos. So um, where is this attraction going? Okay, messages for the Virgos. Where is this attraction going? Oh, card we got out is the Knight of Swords. So I'm using my kinky deck. So if you don't like kinking, if you don't like kinkiness, tough titty. Okay, tough titty Virgo. Okay, we're talking grown up stuff here today. At least for this reading. Okay, we have here the Knight of Swords. This person is determined. Okay, very aggressive. You know. Um, very aggressive. I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, probably likes to watch porn. Probably likes you to watch. Help. How? Probably likes you to watch porn with them. Um, they're very, very. <coughs> excuse me. Kinky. Nice on the eyes. Nice body. Okay. Um, probably also. I'm hearing very flexible for some of you. Okay. Um, they like to tease, maybe like to spank that booty a little bit. Okay. Virgo, where is this connection going between you and this person? Where is this connection going? Mm hmm. The two of swords. Maybe you, um, Let's see, how can I put it? Well, maybe you denied this person when you first met him or her, or I didn't want to give this person a um the time of day or whatever. Uh, you probably just looked the other way when, when this person came around because you were you weren't quite quite sure. But when they saw you, they thought that there was a clear opportunity to meet you, to get to to get to know you better. They found you very sexy, very, very pleasing on the eyes. Okay. Um, you made them smile when they saw you, like, ooh. Damn, who is that over there? All right, who is that over there? They probably introduced themselves when they saw that body, okay? When they saw those big titties sticking out. <laughs> Take it how it resonates, okay? Um, he probably, he, he or she probably said, damn, stick a fork in me. I'm done. I done found my soulmate right there, okay? Wow, Ace of Wands. Oof. Power. power. There's power in this connection. There's there's sexual chemistry in this. This this is the kind of person that makes me go wow in the bedroom. Not me, y'all, but you get it. I'm I'm all in this reading. <laughs> that makes you go wow in the reading, Virgo. In the um damn in the message where you Virgo. I'll tell you where my mind is, is at today. <laughs> so but there's a method to to the madness, y'all. Okay. So um, this person can have facial hair, okay? Um, kind of like really, really uh, full face, facial hair for some of you, not all. They probably like your breasts. Some of you have probably already been with this person, uh, probably have a child with this person. Or, you know, if you hook up with this person, be careful so you may just get pregnant. There's some kind of strong, strong energy here. Uh, strong sexual chemistry and energy for the two of you as well. You, this person likes the way you smell. They have probably said some things to you that was um, sexual, had some sexual undertones. And it probably turned you on. Okay. This person is very, very creative. Like I said, with their words. Okay. Always throwing uh, new opportunities at you to let you know that there is an opportunity for something there. Okay. <clears throat> the two of cups. Y'all might dig each other though, too. Um, this may be a really, really good connection. Um, 
it, it could be very intense. Um, it can be some very intense erotic moments. I'm hearing erotica. Okay. There can be some really, you're very, very compatible to one another. Okay. Very compatible. Um, the attraction is immense between the two of you. Very, very immense. You probably, if you haven't kissed this person, you probably will. Just the look on each other, on, when you all look at each other, it's very, very intense. Like very, like damn, you know, it's like you can melt any t into each other's soul. Is it, It's just that deep. I, you know, I'm not saying that this is a soulmate. It could be, but we're more so talking about the sexual chemistry here, the sexual en energy for the two of you. All right. Where is this attraction going? What's going on with it? It's, like I tell you, this person is very, very um, strong willed. I probably don't know how to take no for an answer. Could you just give me just a maybe and not a no, that kind of stuff. It's like they're trying to say something. They're trying to persuade you to hang out with them, to chill with them, okay? To be their chill, to, to what? To be their liquid chill pill. I, I hear things in my head, y'all, okay? Oh, Knight of Wands. What else fell out? Okay, we got the chariot. We have the Knight of Wands. Definitely uh, <clears throat> some sexual chemistry here. Okay, um, like take me away to your place. Take me away to your magical place. Take me away to your magical bliss and do what you want to do to me. Okay, and I won't tell you no. <laughs> so uh, I definitely see some energy here of 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 of, of penetration. I get kind of shy when I'm talking about sex, so y'all got to excuse that. You get excuse that in me, okay? Um, this person is very, very sexually connected to you, and, and um, the feelings might be mutual. They, it's like they take risk and very, very passionate, very advent adventurous, probably a, a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and two. Um, they probably will, will take you to places that makes you uncomfortable as far as where you all do it at, like the location, but just in general, this person is taking you outside of your comfort zone, letting you know you can have it however it is you want it, no matter where you do it at or how it takes place. This person is going to take you outside of your comfort zone, comfort zone, Virgo. Okay, and they're going to show you things you've never seen before, things that you never felt. And I'm not saying that this could be; it could be a, a someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. But for more. More so, this is somebody who's going to make you feel like a woman, make you feel like the man that you are. They're going to bring out, dare I say, the freak in you. Okay, they're going to show you what your malfunction was. They're gonna they're gonna come into your life and fix all the things and, and sexual that's wrong with you. They're gonna take away that boring side of you, and they're going to give you something that was already that they're just they're just gonna bring it out. It's like you're eating. Let's see. Let's say, for instance, you're eating chicken wings, fried chicken wings, or whatever. Okay, and then they're okay. The chicken wings are good, but you did, but you go and add some um, cayenne pepper to them, and that's they, then that's on fire. They are on fire. What did um, Emerald Lagasse used to say? Bam! They're gonna add that bam to your sex life, baby. <laughs> bam to your sex life, Virgo. I'm hearing stuff in my head. I'm hearing bam to your sex life, baby. I don't know where that came from. But that's what I heard in my head. Okay. The chariot. Okay. So, you know, depending on who, who you are, uh, as far as intimacy is, is concerned, maybe you've been celibate for a while, but this person is ready for you. And I think that you're ready for him or her. Take it how it resonates. This is like, it's, this is an opportunity for you to to move forward, to ascend to a higher um, range in your sex life. And I honestly don't think that this is a love connection. I just think that this is a sex connection. It's, it's not, it's, 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 this is like going beyond a booty call. I'm telling you, it, it's like <laughs> red, it's fire, it's, on, it's, it's, it's heat, it's liquid honey, it's whatever you want it to be, okay? Um, some of you all just need to get laid, okay? Where is this connection going? This 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 hookup, this the attraction, this sexual attraction going, Virgo? Five of Swords. 
you have definitely been in isolation for a while when it came when it comes to intimacy and sex, not really giving anything to anybody. And that's fine. You know, if you choose to be celibate, that's you. You know, if this reading may not be for you, you know, uh, and maybe you have held yourself distant from sex, from relationships, from uh, all together, from from intimacy. You know, look, the hermit. OK. You've isolated yourself and you said, I just don't want to be bothered with relationships or with sex or anything. You probably watch movies and watch love movies or see sex scenes and like, damn, I miss sex. You know, I'm not I'm, I'm human. You know, I could miss it, you know, but yet and still you don't want to be bothered because you feel that you want to give your all to a connection. and You don't want to waste your time. You don't want your time wasted. OK, so you have probably been dreaming, you know, having those nocturnal emissions or wet dreams or whatever it is they however they refer to refer to them now these days um because you're lonely and you want to have that feeling that that connect with somebody okay wow because you've been in some in some stuff here we got the death card okay i think this is saying just in a just i'm hearing just in the nick of time okay this is the opening for you the end of of your um your um, what do I what word am I looking for? This is the end of your um. <sighs> I can't even think, y'all. Of your um, not getting any <laughs> of your um. Damn, what word am I looking for? It's it's just I got all these things in my head right now. Your celibacy, in the ending of your celibacy, and the, the opening. Of the ending of your celibacy. I'm hearing in my head. I'm going to say it the way I hear it, okay? The ending of your celibacy, Virgo, and the opening of your legs. That's what I'm hearing in my head, okay? The ending of your celibacy and the opening of your legs. Take it how it resonates. On top, on bottom, whatever, however it resonates with you, okay? We have the six of swords here, okay? That's trapped. You know, um, this is, I won't say last hope, but... This I don't think this is going to be a situation where you're feeling trapped either. I think that that this person is going to help you release a lot of things that you've been holding back for so long. Okay, if anything, you'll be trapped in this person's embrace, and you ain't going no motherfucking where. I got you here on this motherfucking ground. I got you here in this motherfucking bed. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Okay, you ain't going. They they gonna have you hooked. They gonna have you hooked. Okay, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. The three of wands. What's going on with you, Virgo, today? What's up with all this sexy energy of you all for you all today? Okay. You got to understand what it is you want, what it is you're looking for. This is going to be a reward for you. And it's going to help you expand your, your sexual repertoire. What was it? Repertoire. Repertoire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to help you to expand your sexual energy to... to help you and this person is in your life i think to help you release to help you open up to things you've never done before or you haven't done in a while this person is going to is going to give you a run for your money okay they're going to turn you on and it's going to hard to get you turned off it's going to be hard to get you turned off Virgo. six of pentacles fell out okay generosity charity um it's like you've given yourself to so many not oh i'm not saying a lot of people but it's like for so long people have been with you and gotten things from you and you've never heard from them again and and you've turned your back on them they've turned their back on you and they know that, they, that they've hurt you because you've been one to give yourself and all of your all of yourself to people men are men women take it how it resonates and they know that they've left you they and they've hurt you, but they didn't give two fucks about it. They just went on about their business, okay? Uh, that's going to change for you. Bottom of the deck, we got here the Three of Pentacles. This is just allowing somebody to raise you up and to be passionate with you and give you and give you erotic <laughs> erotic moments, things that you've never, never experienced before in your life. This person is going to take you to new levels of sexual ecstasy. Your chemistry with this person is going to be oh God, unparalleled is what I'm hearing. You got to open up. If, if it's if it's not for you, earthly, it's not for you, but this is down for well for, for somebody, okay? Because when I came home, the first thing I did was go over there and get these cards because somebody's up with this energy. They don't know exactly what it is, but 
It happens like that for y'all every now and again. Probably tomorrow we'll get another sexual reading. Who knows, okay? But we have the Fool card and we got the Ace of Cups. This is saying, look, I can't tell you what to do. Watch to the beat of your own drum. Just listen to the beat of mine. But if you take that opportunity, it's going to be... <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be bliss for you. Very, very it's gonna be blissful. It's gonna be it's gonna knock your socks off, Virgo. I mean, it's, it's gonna be something you probably haven't experienced before or you haven't experienced in a long, long time. And this I honestly it's something you probably need. <clears throat> something you probably need, Virgo. Just an outlet, you know, just for somebody to <laughs> to light that what rub that body tight. What's that? Um, Johnny Gill, wrap that body tight. Mm -hmm. Allow somebody to wrap their body tight. Tight. I put that song in the uh, comment section. The Queen of Wands. We had the King of Wands too. I think that you all are equally pleasing to the eye to one another. He's going, he or she, whatever's going to like you, like to see you undress. Possibly too, there's going to be somebody here who will like to see you masturbate, or they would like to, for you to watch them masturbate. Okay. Mm -hmm. And some of them may ride a motorcycle. I just heard a motorcycle out there. Okay. Um, they definitely like to see you for who you are. They like your beauty. They, they like you just the way you are. They don't want you to change a damn thing. They are attracted to the natural you. Okay. Let's get a final card here for Virgo. Where is this attraction heading? Virgo, where? So you give me two. I always, I say one, you always give me two. We got the 10 of pentacles at the end of the deck though. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this card here just reminded me of that movie Nine and a Half Weeks. <laughs> I think they were in front of the refrigerator, okay, eating their food and having sex, doing something like that. They want you to be their smorgasbord, Virgo. Okay, we have the Moon card and we got the Nine of Wands. So they want to keep this behind. They want to keep this this behind closed doors. They don't want you to tell everybody. Um, and you probably wouldn't want to tell anybody either. It's just, I let's just say this is this will not be an ordinary hookup for you. Okay, it's like you all match. You all kind of like click in a way, you know. And you don't you don't know how this happened, you know. Um, this person's going to give you permission to release yourself because you're paranoid of maybe getting hurt or of not being able to receive or give your all to this person sexually. This is about letting go all of your wild desires, Virgo, and opening yourself up to the magical bliss of ecstasy. <laughs> so I don't know what's in the air, like I said, but your subconscious is trying to pull this out of you and you and spirit is sending you your subconscious thoughts in 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 in, in the bedroom. Take how it resonates and have fun.